Well, greetings, people of the internet. Unky Joe here, Unky Joe's Playhouse. Today, we're going to fix something that's broken, but not for long. So if you know anything about me, you know that I like to label myself as the king of cheap, and uh, rightly so. I've earned that title. And today is a shining example of what I mean by that. Now, I don't like throwing stuff away that is still in working condition. Something about the way I was raised or just in my soul bothers me when when that that happens. Today is no different. Today I have a laptop from a client. Well, actually, it's from the employee of a client. Um, and we're going to take a look at it, and we're going to see what I did to it to uh, correct the problem. Now, this client complained that they did a Windows 10 update, and suddenly they had a blue screen come up, and it said, your PC needs to be restarted, yada, yada, all these things. So I brought the unit in here. It's over on the bench. And uh, that's exactly what I saw. So the first thing I did was I asked the client, do you, do you need any of the data on this laptop? Is if not, we're just going to try and, and do a system recovery. And uh, fortunately, he didn't need any data. So that made my life a whole lot easier. So I immediately ran the recovery procedure from HP. This is an HP Envy uh, laptop. It's, oh, I'd say it's probably about six years old, maybe a little bit older. I ran the uh, restore procedure, and that failed as well. So then what I did was I tried to do a clean install of Windows 10, and that succeeded. And so I was able to get Windows 10 installed, and then I started running some utilities on the machine. Um, and that's when I found out it had some bad sectors on the hard drive. So this was an easy, no-brainer kind of repair. I reached out to the client and said, hey, I would recommend uh, we put, you know, an SSD drive in here the same size as, as your spinning hard drive, which was a one terabyte. And then we'll uh, put Windows 10 Home back on it and you should be ready to go. Now, at first, the client was like, well, you know, should I not buy a new laptop? And I'm just like, well, you can buy a new laptop, but this is a fifth gen i7. It's fairly speedy, you know. Um, the laptop's in good shape. It's got a lot of RAM on it. And I said, so if you want to spend you four or 500 bucks on a new laptop, you can. I said, but a new hard drive, an SSD drive will basically cost you 90 bucks and it'll feel like a brand new laptop at that point. So he, uh, he opted to go ahead and do that. So, uh, let's go over to the bench and let's get it installed. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about it some more. Thank you. 
So there you go. It's repaired. It's ready to go. It's working fine. I ran diagnostics on it overnight. Didn't have any trouble with it at all. Now, that being said, this these kind of laptops are the ones I hate to work on. The ones where you have to take the keyboard off to get to stuff underneath. I, I think that's a horrible way to build a laptop. Um, you know, the Toshibas that I normally work on, the Asus, the Acers, the the Dells, they all have access panels on the bottom of them where they belong, where you can easily get to the RAM, where you can get to the battery, where you can get to the hard drive. I mean, what was HP thinking? What are they, a Mac? I mean, I, I expect a Mac to be made like that, a MacBook to be made like that, but not, not a PC laptop. So I'm always leery because I've had experience with these before where you go to disassemble the keyboard and the ribbon cable, something gets damaged. You know, I've got big fat sausage fingers. Fortunately, on this one, that's exactly what happened, except I caught the error. I, I heard or I saw the little piece go flying off into space that holds the touchpad ribbon cable in. And fortunately, I was able to turn the laptop upside down and get that piece to fall out of the computer. And then I was able to, to put it back on. I got very lucky. Now, I told the client this could happen. Anytime I work on a laptop, I let the client know up front, hey, disassembly can sometimes damage these machines. Fortunately, I didn't have to go back to the client and tell them, sorry, we, we didn't have any luck. So it, it all turned out for the best. But laptop manufacturers, yeah, make, make your stuff repairable. I hate it when stuff is not repairable or they purposely try to prevent you from repairing it. It's just not, a you know. It's not a good practice. I know it's a throwaway society, but I'm the king of cheap. I like to fix stuff. Hopefully you do too. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave your comments down in the comments section. If you like the video, donate. If you're so inclined, we accept PayPal, Patreon, YouTube join function, or you can become a YouTube premium member and we all get a piece of the pie on that. And the best thing is you don't have any more ads on YouTube. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And click that, click, click, click that notification bell to be notified of new videos when they come out. It does help the algorithm. It does help YouTube know that 
you're actually watching our channel. So please, please subscribe. Don't forget to come back and see us again. And don't forget, we'll see all of you on the other side.